Hello and welcome to another episode of Children's Moments here on Heavenward Thinking. Today we're back with another object lesson, so I'll turn it over to Ms. Ruth and we'll get started today. Well, today, Timothy, we're going to talk about some school supplies again. We've been going on this theme of school mm-hmm. for the beginning of September, and we finished August with it. And I have some different supplies I brought home because I was thinking about students and teachers. We make a lot of mistakes, right? And I brought along some things to show some ways people might try to fix a mistake. They might use some glue and try to put things back together. Mm. Doesn't work real well. Not a great solution to the mistake usually it's weaker and it'll rip again sometimes i hang something up and i have to pull the staples out even when i do that and i move it i leave a hole behind Mm. so that's not a great way to fix my mistake i have some whiteout here whiteout's great but you still can see that you made a mistake even with the whiteout on it because you can see the whiteout is there that you try to fix a mistake Mm. and then i have a fourth object here what is this timothy that's an eraser i have an eraser erasers are really the best way to solve your mistakes if you're very careful you can erase it and no one would know that you made that mistake right Mm. well we're going to talk about god's eraser which we should be really thankful for is because jesus died for us and loved us and he can forgive and erase our sins Mm. and it won't be leaving behind all this evidence because when we get to a verse we're going to find out He forgets about it. Mm. So let's read some verses, though, about forgiveness. So we have Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. It says, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. So Jesus gave his blood to forgive us of our sins. Another verse I wanted to share is in Ephesians. Ephesians 1, 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, that's speaking of Jesus, the forgiveness of us, of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us if we go into the next verse. So God gave us something that we didn't deserve and he wants to forgive our sins. In 1 John 1, 9, we know that one from memory. If we confess our sins, say that we have sinned, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So again, taking it completely away. But the best one I like to think about is this one, which reminds me of the eraser. If we go to Psalms 103, oops, lost my bookmark there. Psalms 103, verse 12. And it says, again, I flipped too many pages. Apologize for that. Let's get to the right verse here. 103, verse 12, it says this. As far as the east is from the west, So far has he removed our transgressions, which means sins, from Mm -hmm. us. So when Jesus forgives it, he does it completely. He totally covers it. Not like what we try to do to cover our own mistakes or in our own strength. If we try to cover our sins, people are still going to see them. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus does it, he's removed it from us. Just like if students use an eraser and carefully take it all their mistakes away the teacher won't know that they made a mistake in their writing so that's another object lesson from our back to school absolutely well we hope you've been encouraged this week and that you'll join us next time for another object lesson here on heaven we're thinking